Good morning from my office. I thought I would just say hi. I'm going to vlog today. Uh, obviously, why would I even need to tell you that? Because you're watching this. Hi, good morning. Off to a good start. <laughs> it's 8.10 on Thursday, and I am just mm, quickly editing tonight's video. Because once I leave the house at about 9.15, I won't be home, basically, until 9, I think. Today's a busy one. So, um, editing the video of us going to Manning Park, which hopefully you've already seen, because it'll already be up. I have a shower, I need to wash my hair. I've done spin twice in the last two days, so she needs a hair wash. Anyway, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of the marathon. <laughs> Okay, I've done my work at the radio station, part one, and now I am about to drive about 45 minutes to my remote. I'm live on location today for Miracle Treat Day, which means I'm going to Dairy Queen, which is kind of ironic, but um, <laughs> to sell blizzards for Children's Hospital. So, as someone who has spent a lot of time at Children's Hospital. It feels very fitting. Where is the truck? Where is, oh, can I just show you the truck? <laughs> we settle. <laughs> like, I, I kind of actually really love it, but it's hilarious to me. <laughs> just gonna go drive this. Nothing to see here, actually, everything to see here, hey <laughs> We're all set up at Dairy Queen. We just did our first hour on the air. I'll show you the microphone so it looks official. And this is happening. Ian's lunch, my lunch. Look at this delicious salad from Dairy Queen. Who knew? Having salad and fries for lunch. Very happy about it. We're inside, which I was not expecting. I thought we'd be sweating outside. It's a good day, friends. And like I was saying, Miracle Tree Day is all about raising money for Children's Hospital. And I've spent so much time there with Thomas, so this is like a no-brainer, super easy. There's Ian, he's the one that's about to eat the chicken strips, I was just telling you. Um, wish there was more to show you on remote. There really isn't, but we're gonna eat now, and I'm very happy about it. All right, successful remote, one of the easiest ones I've ever done, honestly. And, that's Ian's truck. <laughs> we are about to drive home, and I just got in the truck and it says it's 44 degrees out. Is that a real temperature? I'm supposed to do yoga outside tonight. I don't know. No, I'm really excited for it. So, we're gonna drive home. I can't show you anything because I'm in the work truck and I don't have my mount and I'm obviously not gonna vlog while I drive. So, remote was good, honestly. Met some really incredible people who have been touched by Children's Hospital because it was a fundraiser for BC Children's and Thomas and I have spent a lot of time there. So that was great. Yeah, got to meet a bunch of firefighters. Not a bad day. And just some really nice people who supporting kids who have been there and are there right now. And uh, yeah, anyway, we're gonna drive in rush hour to get home to go do some yoga home for no joke like five minutes and now uh, my friend Catherine is picking me up to go do this yoga class which is starting to feel like kind of a bad idea I'm hoping they have fans or like cold cloths or spritzers or something anyway um, I think I've mentioned this before but I just wanted to mention it again I am loving this this summer it's the Vega Sport hydrator I get it from nature's fair I have the pink kind, <laughs> berry kind. It's like what you would use instead of Gatorade. I'm just not a real big Gatorade fan. Oh, I thought she was here. No, um, but it's like Gatorade. So I have been having it either before or after or both workouts just because it's been so hot and I think it helps so I don't get a headache. Okay, we're gonna go do yoga, which I'm really excited about. I think it's gonna be nice. I've been doing yoga every single day since my birthday, and normally I'd be thrilled to be going to a winery and going outside. It's just so damn hot, but I'm a little bit nervous. And 
I just feel like I haven't sat, but this is gonna be exactly what I need. A little namaste and rose. Whoever came up with this is genius. I'm excited. morning it's Friday good morning I realized I didn't vlog much yesterday because well when you're on location there's not much to show and then we did yoga and then I came home and pretty much went to bed I did some tidying and kind of and some work actually <laughs> and then I had a bath which was lovely so I thought I would combine two days in one today's Friday today's the day we go back and get Thomas in a couple of hours, less than a couple of hours, which I have lots to do before then. It's just after eight and I'm up and out of the house. And we're gonna go vacuum out my car and give it a little wash on the inside. I'll wash the outside of it when we get back from picking him up. But the inside of my car is just so gross and I've been wanting to vacuum it while Thomas was gone. And this has been a crazy week. I thought I was going to be getting so much done around the house, purging and tidying. I had this huge list of stuff that I want to do. I don't want to say I did none of it because I did one thing, but I don't know where this week has gone. I mean, so much work, just so much work. And I know in hindsight now it's because I went to Rock and River for a couple days and then I took Leanne and her kids to Manning Park. So there was a lot of like non-work days. Um, and now I just feel like I'm constantly trying to catch up. I'm sure many of you can relate to that. So I wouldn't say it's been disappointing because it's been a really nice week. Um, but yeah, I had overachieving thoughts for sure you know I thought I was gonna like watch some Harry Potter or you know a movie at least I wanted to go to a movie like, none of these things happened but I did do two spin classes and last night's namaste and rose which was yoga at a winery so these were all things that I wouldn't be able to do with Thomas home um, now I've booked spin classes that work with our schedule but it was nice to do the first two without him around like having to worry about him Anyway, that's a long way to say good morning. Today we're going back to get Thomas and work. The inside of my car is so gross, so we're gonna go vacuum it. And I'm very excited about it. I had on a really nice dress and then decided to change because I for sure would have been flashing the world. <laughs> and I've also got already these that, oh, lights changed. I'll show you when we stop. These little wipes that I keep in my car somehow there was like ranch in my car. <laughs> oh, so gross. I really take pride in my space, my home, my car. I think that's why I'm a little bit disappointed just because there is some purging that I wanted to do for sure this week. But one thing that this has taught me is that I definitely need to get respite, <clears throat> not always for an occasion. Like, I never think to just get respite. Um, to be home. It's always like, cause I'm traveling or I've got work stuff or, or that's pretty much it, traveling or work. <laughs> but I don't ever think to just get it so I can like purge my house and sleep. I definitely slept really well this week. Um, so that has been a bonus overstop. These are what I keep in my car. These Armor All cleaning wipes. Um, they're basically like, wet wipes but for your car and I like to use them when the inside gets disgusting which obviously it does and they're just I just like to keep them in the car we also need a new air freshener 
do you use for an air freshener? I've been using the ones from Bath and Body Works, but I don't find that they're potent. Like they don't, or they don't last very long. They seem to last better in my car, but in my terrain, it's not as good. Okay, they had these for a dollar. This takes me back to like when I was, I don't know, 19. <laughs> I've had one of these little trees in forever. Look who's back! Hi, Thomas is back. We drove for five. Well, I drove for five hours. I was excited. So my mom and I drove <laughs> there and back for five hours. Where's a good light? Oh, hello. There we go. Hey. Came back. Had like the drive was fine. Whatever. Had an autism appointment, went great until about 45 minutes into the appointment and I started hearing a dripping and there's a leak in my house. So, handled it, figured out, turned off the water, so that's, and um, Amber Lee's boyfriend is coming over to try and help me because he's handy to fix things. So we're trying not to panic or be annoyed we're just doing yeah there was like a big puddle on my kitchen counter and it's coming from like upstairs in my bathroom mm -hmm. so water's turned yeah. off the leaking has stopped so at least we're good we're good we're good at least that's what i'm telling myself <laughs> we're good hi okay just i don't want to deal with this <laughs> yeah. but we don't panic we just Call reinforcements, call friends, good friends who at five o'clock on a Friday who have worked all week now are gonna come over and try and help me fix a leak. Well, they were here for like an hour or two and uh, uh, there's no leak. Uh, 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 uh. They don't know how there was water. The water stopped. So I've got bowls out to see if something happens overnight. It's the weirdest thing. So no idea. Uh, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm feeling pretty like fragile, shaky, not happy about it. Hope that there's nothing tomorrow and this was just something, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna eat a salad and put Thomas to bed and try to just relax, meditate and like chill and not get freaked out about it because obviously I'm freaked out about it. <laughs> So, thanks for watching. Lace up, become a marathoner, subscribe to my channel. I hope you liked this two for vlog, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.